In Hawaiian, pali means cliff and nu'uanu means cool heights. A million and a half years ago, when Oahu was still forming, a massive landslide occurred and nearly one-third of the island fell into the ocean. This force created a tsunami wave over 2,000 feet high that rose up and covered 95% of the island of Lanai. The Nu'uanu Pali Lookout is 12,000 feet above sea level. It overlooks the 985-foot cliffs of the Ko'olau mountain range and offers one of the best views on Oahu. From this vantage point, you can see Kaneohe Bay, Chinaman's Hat, Hawaii Pacific University's Windward Campus, the University of Hawaii's Marine Biology Research Center, and Coconut Island. If you find that Coconut Island looks a bit familiar, the exterior of the island was used to shoot the establishing shot for the 60s TV show Gilligan's Island. The Nu'uanu Pali is also a site of deep historical significance. King Kamehameha I and his army invaded Oahu and won the struggle that united the Hawaiian Islands. Kamehameha's army marched to Nu'uanu Valley to face Kalani Kupule's troops. King Kamehameha's men gained an advantage and forced Kalani Kupule's soldiers to retreat further up the valley, where they were pursued and driven over the steep cliffs to their deaths. It's been said that not a single Oahu warrior that got into the upper part of the valley escaped alive. The name of the historic battle of Nu'uanu Pali is Kalelea Keanai, which means the leaping of the mullet fish. In 1897, an engineering firm was hired to build what is now called Old Pali Road. When you are at the Pali Lookout, you can see the old road going down the mountain to the right. It's a great place for walking or hiking and has fantastic views. During construction of the road, workers found the century-old remains of Kalani Kupule's slain warriors an estimated 800 human skulls and other bones at the foot of the cliff. When approaching from the windward side of the island, just above to the left of the lookout, you can see two notches cut into the ridge line. The notches are evidence of unique defense mechanisms. They were man-made by warriors to house cannons. King Kamehameha's warriors disabled the cannons in the Battle of Nu'uanu, and this helped him to conquer Oahu. There are a number of legends involving the Pali and its surrounding areas. One such legend tells of two large stones called Hapu'u and Kalai Hao'ola, located near the back of Nu'uanu Valley. These stones are said to represent a pair of goddesses who were guardians of the passage down the Pali. To ensure a safe trip, travelers would leave offerings of kapa or bark cloth or flowers, and in order to gain protection against evil, parents would bury the umbilical cords of their newborns at the entrance. Another story tells of a mo'ovahine, or lizard woman, lingering around the pass. The mo'ovahine is said to be a mythical creature who transforms herself into a beautiful woman and leads male travelers off the cliff to their deaths. Hawaiian folklore holds that you should never transport pork over the Nu'uanu Pali. This is especially true at night as hungry spirits haunt the Pali in search of food. Stories have been told of assaults by ghosts and cars mysteriously stopping until the pork is removed. The root of this myth has been traced back to a disagreement between Pele, the goddess of volcanoes, and Kamapua'a, a half-human, half-pig god. It is said that Pele would not allow Kamapua'a in the form of pork to trespass on her side of the island. In an attempt to deter the spirits, truckers are known to tie a fresh green tea leaf, banana leaf, or a strip of bamboo around the pork, a practice called placing a law upon the food. Useful information, Nu'uanu Pali State Park is open daily, weather permitting, from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission is free and there is ample parking for a $3 charge. It is extremely windy. The trade winds blow through the valley between the high mountains on either side, forming a strong wind tunnel. Thus, a light jacket is recommended. You are also advised to remove hats, caps, or anything else that might be blown away by the gusty winds, and to hold children's hands.